In this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to share with you 10 amazing After Effects tips and tricks that will not only save you a lot of time but also improve your overall After Effects workflow. All these tips are super easy to follow and implement in your day-to-day -day projects. These tricks will help you become more efficient and creative with your work and additionally they will help you to produce high quality motion graphics. So get ready to take your motion graphics game to the next level and just don't forget to have fun while you do it. All right, so here we are in After Effects and the first trick that I want to talk about is power of repeaters. Now repeaters have been in After Effects for a very long time, but you can actually use them to create some very dynamic looking backgrounds as well. And let me show you how to do that. So I'll go right here and select the ellipse tool and let's create a circle by holding Alt, Control and Shift at the same time like so. I'll align the anchor point of the shape in the center and then align the shape in the center as well. You can find this align tab from windows align and for the anchor point, I'm using a free script called anchor point mover link to which is in the description, or you can simply hold control and double click on the pan behind tool that will move the anchor point in the center. So this is our circle. The fill is set to none and we have a stroke property of five pixels. Then right here in the layer options, you can see an add section. So I'll click on this and then we get an option for repeater. So let's click on that to add it. And here it shows how many repeater that we have added. So I'll go into repeater one. And you can see the copies is set to three. You can increase it to whatever number that you want. Let's set this to 12 for now. You can also offset them in case if you need to do that, but we will leave it at zero. And then I'll go into the transform repeater one. I'll set the position of this to zero. So it's properly in the center and I'll increase the scale like so. So we get this really interesting look. Then I can also increase the rotation and this will help us create some really complex looking shapes as you can see. We can also animate them by the way because it has a stopwatch icon at the start on the left side. So I'll keep it somewhere around here let's say. We can also play around with the start and the end opacity but I'll leave it at 100 for now. And then what I'm going to do is add an effect called turbulent displace on this. Select the layer go into window and let's add the effects panel. Search for turbulent displace double click to add this and we can play around with the number of things here so i'll bring down the size a little bit let's increase the amount with something like so and then i can animate the evolution simply so i'll go right here create a keyframe on the evolution go all the way to the end of the timeline and let's increase this so now basically we have a very nice simple animation and the best part is that you can anytime go into this you can change the number of echoes you know, you can play around with the way it looks. So I can bring down the scaling. I can increase this. I can rotate it anytime that I want to create some interesting looks. And then on the top, I can add all the design elements like text, shapes and everything. And there you have a very interesting motion graphics scene ready to go. You can add number of different colors as well. You can even duplicate this. So if I select this, press control D to duplicate it. Let's add a different color probably. So I'll go with something like a nice hot pink and bring down the size to around two. So you can see we get this really nice look. I can even make this white actually, but I think white will blend in too much. And then I'll press U two times to reveal all the properties and I'll bring up the scaling a little bit like so. And let's add a little bit of rotation. So it adds a bit more variation. And this is how basically you can create complicated and complex looking background animations using repeaters. The next tip that I have for you is related to mask mode. So whenever we are creating mask on any layer, I can select, let's say I'll select rectangle tool. And if I create a mask on this solid shape, by default, it's set to add. But if I press S, it's going to switch to subtract. And this is how using shortcuts, you can directly change the mask modes. I can press F for difference, I for intersect. And there we have all the different options here. So it's super easy and handy, I think. The next tip that I have for you is related to shapes. So I'll create a shape really quick. So let's say if I draw a shape like so, and then while drawing, I realize that I want to actually add this shape to the right side of my composition. So what we usually do is create the shape, delete it, 
and then again create a shape right here but there is an easy way to do it so let's say i draw a shape and then i realize i want to place the shape in the right side i'll hold space while holding my click and then go right here let go of my space bar and let go of my left click and there we have our shape so let's do this one more time i'll create a shape hold space bar and move it wherever that i want leave the space bar and then i can again adjust the shape if i want to again hold the space bar move it let's say here leave it and there we go super easy but very very helpful the next tip that i have for you is parenting an element to another element with the same properties so here i have a photoshop icon and an after effects icon and let's say i want to position this photoshop icon with this after effects icon very very precisely so instead of moving this here pressing s and adjusting the scaling and then figuring it out whether it's proper or not the easy way to do is is select the photoshop layer hold shift and then click on parent and link and link this to after effects and as soon as i do that boom it perfectly snaps in with the position rotation and the anchor point according to the after effects icon super easy and quick to do the next step i have for you is scaling the expression so here on this layer i have added a simple expression of loop in for this text animation and whenever we are typing in any complex expression it can get a bit difficult to type in in this small area so i can hold control and scroll wheel to increase the size of the code and then i can easily type in whatever that i want but make sure when you let go of this i mean when you click outside it's going to snap back into the default size so again if i click this i hold control and scroll wheel to increase the expression size and then you can type in whatever expression that you want and let go and it's going to go back to its original size the next tip that i have for you is creating mask feather using the feather tool so let's say i'll select this layer and create a mask like so and now i want to feather this mask from any particular point so what i can do is go right here long press and select the mask feather tool and i can click and drag to create a custom point for feather and i'll click and drag right here as well and i can adjust this select the mask i'll click and drag like so and now you can see we have three different feather points which i can actually change like that so you can maybe adjust the feather from this and using this technique you can create some really complex liquid shapes as well so it's super useful i think as you can see so make sure you play around with this technique make sure you select the mask and add as many points as you want and create a really nice and complex looking shape and you can even merge two different shapes and create some nice liquid transforming blob and something like that the next step that i have for you is a region of interest so let's say if i want to change the com size to the size of this text so instead of pressing control k and then trying to find the right com size by tweaking it again and again the simplest way to do is is to go right here and select region of interest draw the com size that you want so i can even adjust it if i want to i can simply go right here and adjust it accordingly and then go into composition and there you'll find an option crop com to region of interest just click on that and boom there we have our composition is automatically set to the region of interest that we selected the next trick that i have for you will only work in the latest version of after effects and that is related to track mat so now we have an option to parent and link track mats now in the previous after effects versions let's say i want to track mat this shape with this particular text i would need to place the shape above the text and then change this to alpha mat in order to work with this now if i want to do the same thing with these two different text i need to duplicate the shape again place it on the top and there will be number of like number of different copies here too many layers for this right so every single layer every single shape for every single text so it's kind of tedious and could be very complex but now with the new latest update what we have is i can place this shape wherever i want in my timeline or layer panel and what i have to do is select all the text and just parent the track mat of this text to the shape so now wherever we move the shape we can see the text so basically we can now use one single shape as a track mat for all the layers that we selected so it's super easy i can create some really interesting animation just using one single shape this is really cool so first time when you link it it will set to alpha mat if you click on this again 
So if I select them all, click on them. Now it's switched to Luma Matte. Now it's switched to Alpha Matte. And if you want to invert this, I can simply click on Alpha Matte Inverted. If I click on this, so now it's Luma Matte Inverted and now it's again Luma Matte. So it's super simple and very, very simple to use. The next tip that I have for you is how to add proper shadows or use proper shadows in After Effects. Now, by default, mostly people use the drop shadow option. So if I go into effects and presets and let's say I want to add a shadow on this text, I'll type in drop shadow, double click to add that. Let's, uh, let's say I'll increase the distance, I'll increase the size and I'll also change the color of this. So let's say I'll go with a darker blue tone. But if I go all the way out like so and increase the spread, you can see we start getting this kind of color bending, which I don't really like. Play around with the color so you can see it more properly. So we get a lot of color bendings here. And we also don't have much control over the shadow here. So the best way would be to actually use layer style just like we do in Photoshop. So I'll select the layer, right click, go into layer style. And there we have an option for drop shadow. Now if we go into drop shadow properties, you can see we have much more control here. We also have the blend mode for this. So let's say if I increase this opacity to all the way up to 100, I'll increase the distance like so, and I'll increase the size as well like, like so. And now when I get these kind of color bendings, what I can simply do is add a little bit of noise of two to three percent, and that would fix the issue. Also, it makes the shadow look more organic and looks very, very smooth. So this is a really useful way of creating perfect shadows. I can use any color that I want and you won't see any color bendings. Now you must be seeing some because of the YouTube compression, but in real, when you do it, you won't see one single color bending. So that is a wrap for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this After Effects tutorial. Do let me know in the comments which trick you find super useful and helpful. You can also follow me on Instagram at dope.motions. And if you are feeling generous, please do support us on Patreon. All the links are in the description below. With that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.